Hi, I'm Hub Arkish, along with senior editor Eric Edholm, as we bring you the way we hear it, all the news, scoops, and rumors before they happen, exclusively at Pro Football Weekly. We want to start by updating the story in Indianapolis. Most importantly, the thoughts and prayers of everybody here at Pro Football Weekly with Chuck Pagano, his family, and his extended Indianapolis Colts family. Now, a lot of concern questions have been, how did this happen now? Why Bruce Arians? What's next? Let's point out, first of all, as far as the reporting of Coach Pagano's illness, it is very serious. His prognosis is good. This can be cured. He can beat it. But the fact is he's going to spend the next six to eight weeks in the hospital and there's a lot of work to be done for Chuck Pagano to be okay. And I think that's really everybody's first focus in an Indianapolis team that has known tragedy before. Right. And Bruce Arians has been through a personal situation before. He knows what this is, what, what the coach is going through. So I think he's a good choice to lead this team. And you know, this seems like a mature group, even though there's so many new faces there. Uh, obviously Ryan Griggs and the GM and, and the owner there as well. Jim Irsay are going to try to keep everything focused as possible. And we think Bruce Arians is going to do a nice job, especially with a mature, young, rookie quarterback like Andrew Luck. Right. As Eric points out, Bruce Arians is a cancer survivor himself. He understands what Coach Pagano is going through. He can form the bridge from the coach to his players. Also, you look at Dwight Freeney, Robert Mathis, Reggie Wayne. These were the team leaders in 2005 when they suffered the tragic loss of Tony Dungy's son due to suicide. They got through that. They will lead this team through this. So again, the Colts on the field, probably not much difference when you get right down to it. More importantly, off the field, an entire organization in support of their head coach. Now, support, Detroit Lions, Jim Schwartz, that could be a different story. When was the last time a team gave up four special teams touchdowns to each in their last two games? The wheels have come off for the one and three Detroit Lions, and if the heat is not already building rapidly under Jim Schwartz's seat, it's going to be any moment. Absolutely, and I mean, special teams coach Danny Cross has taken a lot of heat as well, but he apparently is going to remain in power, and they're going to try to figure out their differences. Now, they seem to be suggesting it's not a scheme issue, that they weren't out-schemed in these last two games, so that leads to personnel. I don't know if Schwartz is subtly throwing Marty Mayhew under the bus, but this is a roster at one point that was probably only about 30, 35 deep. They seem to be stronger coming into the season. Maybe there is some thinness at the bottom of that uh, roster. And the perception was that the biggest issue with this football team offensively was the lack of a running game. Well, Michael Ashore has shown some ability to be an NFL running back. That could get better. Yeah. But all of a sudden, the special teams problem, a back seven on defense that hasn't played badly, but has come up short in key situations. You know, they've had to start guys like Ricardo Silver. They promote him one day on a Saturday from the practice squad. Next day he's starting in the, in the lineup there. So they've had to make some switches there. And you just look what teams are doing to him defensively. Playing these soft zones. Almost no man coverage at all. Uh, and making Matthew Stafford pick underneath. Uh, because they're not fearing the run game. Now we'll see if LaShore can change that. Maybe Joyke Bell. But right now they're a team that you can definitely scheme against a certain way. Now folks, we're not reporting that Jim Schwartz is officially the first coach on the hot seat of the bubble. What we're saying is that a coach whose star was thought to be rising at the beginning of the season is going to be the coach on the hottest seat in the NFL if this doesn't get turned very soon, like the next couple weeks. The Lions are expected to contend for a wild card spot. They've got a lot of work to do over the next three or four weeks. That'll do it for this edition of The Way We Hear It. For all the news, scoops, and rumors before they happen, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, stay with us right here at ProFootballWeekly.com.